In this video, we want to look at how to connect to the server from the client. So I'm going to first of all find out the information about the host file. And that's found in the host file um, file, host file file in the server. So I'm actually in the server right now. This is where we stopped in the last video. So I'm going to go into the host file and the command I'm going to use is grep grep space apps dot example dot com slash etc slash hosts and that's giving us the entry so we need to have this entry in our um, in our file on the client side which is the host file on the client side so the IP address that we'll be looking at is not 192.168.0.76 and I'm going to go into my command prompt and the first thing I want to do is ping this IP address so let's do that ping 192.168.0.76 and I've got a message back so all I need to do is have an entry in my host file with the same details and on Windows, the host file will be in C, Windows, it will be under System32. So scroll down and look for the folder called System32. And under System32, you should find a folder called Drivers. So under drivers, etc, host. So that's the file I want to edit. So edit with notepad. So at the moment, I don't have an entry. And I'm just going to add an entry. 76 and it's apps.example.com apps save it and let's come out of file so that's saved so all i need to do then is to open up my browser and connect so let me open up my internet explorer and i'm going to connect to http apps.example.com colon 8000 so that's located the page and this should bring up the login page so I can now type in my password operations welcome as the default password unless you've changed it click on login and there you go and that's how to install the Oracle eBusiness Suites and you can see the menu navigator just have all the different responsibilities that the user has access access to so you can scroll down and see some of the responsibilities that the user has access to let's go to I expenses there you go able to open your web forms so thanks for watching and see you in the next video